Good morning, everybody. I'm trying something new today. I love trying new things, especially when it has to do with learning something. So today, instead of videoing this with my uh, iPad, I'm going to use my cell phone, which generally doesn't work very well. So I'm really open and praying that this comes out all right. So the last video I made, we read Where the Wild Things Are. Today, we are going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Now, I forgot to bring my card with the beads on it. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I read at home and sometimes I read at school. And today I'm at school and my beads are at home. But I do remember the red beads, the top one is for the characters. So let's focus on the characters. Nobody left me any comments in the last video to tell me who the characters were in Where the Wild Things Are. So please, when you're done watching this video, in the comment section, type in the names of the characters in this book, and I will give you a shout out in the next video. Will you please like and share this with all of your friends? I'm not get, trying to get rich and famous. I'm just trying to share some joy of reading. All right, let's read. This is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric C-A-R-L-E. You know why I spelled that? Because I'm not sure how it's pronounced. I think it's Carly, but I'm not exactly sure. And you know what? That's okay. We don't have to know the answers to absolutely everything. This is beautiful. He wrote this for his sister. Her name is Krista. Kind of an old book so the pages stick together a little bit all right in the light of the moon a little egg lay on a leaf one sunday morning the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. That looks like a really pretty day. Ah, and there's the bottom half of the sun. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one 
one cupcake, one slice of watermelon. And I think that's a good thing to end up on something healthy. Oh my goodness. Look at that leaf and all the holes. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Hmm. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for f more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Isn't that gorgeous? So, so pretty. What do you think those are? I think they're holes from all of the things he's eaten through. That's the end. Now, something very interesting happened in that book. He ate through thing after thing after thing after thing, but he just never could get full until he ate the leaf. I'm curious. Why do you think that is? Will you please write down in the comment section why you think the leaf filled him up and nothing else would? I know a cupcake would have done it for me, but not for the caterpillar. It's okay to have mom and dad type the answer into the comments, but you be sure to tell them what to type in there. All right, guys, we are done with the hungry little caterpillar. Don't forget to like and share, and I'll see you in the next story. Have a great day.